Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting one. We're adding three new fish to a couple of our aquariums. We're gonna start the video with my brother's 125 gallon Predator Hat tank. If you didn't know already, it's a little hard to find Predator Hats of the right size and gender, um, but he was able to find two that he really liked and we'll show the unboxing of those followed by an awesome pickup I found at my local fish store. I just added a brand new cichlid to one of my aquariums. We'll walk through all of that throughout this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and let's dive right in. Hey, what's up guys? Another fish unboxing video from Cichlid Bros. Today we got an order from Cunningham Cichlids. Um, I have not looked in to see what we got, so you'll be seeing it for the first time with me. So let's dive right in. We have, cannot see it very well, but it is a four inch male Lynchnochromus acuticeps. Been looking for this guy for a long time. Saw Jay Wilson's Instagram, or actually YouTube video, sorry. And the fish looked great from Cunningham Cichlids. I just had to have it. So let's get this guy floating. Let's get a look at him. I've wanted this fish for a long time for a few reasons. One, I just really like his unique look, long snout big mouth and two he has a reputation for being one of the more peaceful predator haps type of fish you'd really be better off with as your tank mate than some so that's kind of why I was willing to buy him a little bigger fish than the ones I have now so really excited for the addition of the other fish I purchased last week got one from Quinn's fins coming. Should be coming any day now. Okay, and here we go. My second new fish of this unboxing video. We have an order from Quinn's fins. If you've been following along, you'll know this is my second time ordering from Quinn's fins. Very happy with the product of the first order. Um, can't wait to see the second order. I have not picked it up yet, so you'll see it for the first time with me. Uh, so let's see what it is. Okay, here we go. Today we have a four inch, three to four inch male Cyanochromus Fryeri, the electric blue hap. So, got some color on this guy. Let's get him floating. Cyanochromus fryer eye. Real excited about this guy. Obviously he brings an immediate pop of color into the tank right away. Great specimen for a three to four incher. There he is, the two new fish, the Malawi Gar. Coloring up nicely, fitting in great. And the Cyanochromus fryer eye. So a couple of videos ago I mentioned that the electric blue acara in this 38 gallon aquarium was oddly aggressive, specifically to my turquoise severum, and even though the severum was on the smaller end of the, of the fish in this tank, I decided to take him out of here and move him into my 75 gallon aquarium. I just figured the fish in there were, you know, the gentle giants and their personalities are really calm, and I figured they would just pay him no attention. And so far, that's exactly what's happened. Whenever I first put him in the 75 gallon aquarium, the big red spotted severum definitely asserted his dominance as seen here. However, after this, I turned off the lights and there, there has been no chasing or aggression whatsoever. And he's grown back all of his fins and looking great. The 
last pickup here, I was at my local fish store, just window shopping, not really intending to buy a fish. But then one caught my eye in a random tank to the side. There was a geophagus species in a tank with some platies and some random assorted fish. And it was clearly mislabeled as a geophagus redhead top house. And I have some of those, so I clearly knew it wasn't that. Um, and it looks a lot like a geophagus pelagrini. And this guy was just a beaut. He's about three inches or around that area. Um, and again, he was labeled as that Geophagus Redhead Tapo, a small one, for only $9.99. So not only was it a rare Geophagus, but it was also of steel. Um, I couldn't pass up that deal, and I knew I had a spot in my 38-gallon tank after removing that Severum, so that's exactly what I did. And then here he is a couple weeks later. He's doing really well in the tank. Um, the one thing I'm not entirely sure on is if he really is a Pelgrini, or if he's one of the very close species such as the Steindacheri. Either way, he's going to fit into my future plans really nicely as I'm getting that huge custom aquarium for all my South American cichlids and I, I was really wanting a variety of geos in the tank already. So really excited about this guy and he's already doing really well. So I uh, can't wait to see him grow and show updates along the way. So thanks again for watching everyone. We hope you really like our, our new fish. We are really excited about them ourselves. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below, liking the video, leaving us a comment, all those things, and we'll see you on the next one.